Good morning, my stamping friends. It is Tammy with Stamp and Scrap with Tammy with our weekly Facebook Live. I'm gonna kinda scoot off the camera, make sure we're in place, and then I will be right with you all. And I'm hoping, I will chat a little as I'm finding us, I'm hoping we have better luck this week than we did with our bonus Facebook Live last week as far as it showing it to all of you. Last week there was a few issues so if you are watching this right now in the replay, just forward through this little bit. And I will be right there. Okay, oh, here it is coming up for us today. All right, wonderful. All right, looks like I got my camera in a little different view today, but that's okay. I might be too close. Here, you know what? I'm going to have to move it over just a little bit. So not a lot of chatting here, so I guess it doesn't matter too much that I'm right here with you. Uh, but do want to say hello. If you're watching live, happy Thanksgiving tomorrow to all of you watching. If you're watching the replay, thank you for joining in. There is prize patrol for today's video, so make sure you do the routine, like, share, comment, tell me what you think, whether you're watching on Facebook or you might be watching this replay on YouTube. This is our weekly Facebook Live. It is Wednesday, November 24th. And this video is also for my November Card Club folks. So those that took November Card Club, these are the cards that you are getting in your kit um, or that you made yesterday at our live event in the stamp studio. So I'm just gonna turn it down get to work and share with you just one of the most beautiful bundles I have ever worked with. And the really cool part about this one, or not cool, strange maybe, I don't know, I have had this bundle in my possession, can you believe it? Like way before it was even available. I received this bundle when I was on the incentive trip in Maui in May. So I have had the Merriest Moments bundle in my possession and I first used it this month for the first time. And you know what? Maybe had I used it sooner, I probably would have never used anything else the rest of the catalog period because it is so pretty and so fun to work with. So let me see, let me get this out of the way. So it might get a little long today, so tune in as you are able. Look at these cards that we are going to make today. Um, I shared a little sneak peek, you know, that this is the one we were gonna do. Um, but I'm also gonna quickly go through two other cards as well as share with you what is in this beautiful bundle. So let me share first, while well, you're gonna see this as we go. So cool. It has got so many different elements to it. So this is called, I believe it's called like a hybrid version of, there's like an embossing folder. I hope the lighting is letting it show up um, because I'm going to move that just a little bit. Oh, I think as I move the paper, it'll be just fine. Okay, so of course we have a stamp set. Beautiful sentiments. Lots of elements that you can work with on there, depending on how much you like to step up your cards. I just chose to go with die cutting and the sentiments um, for today. Of course, there's so much more that you could do if you wanted to. Um, but I wanted to keep it, I mean, at a glance at those cards, there is nothing simple about that. But let me tell you, they are. They're very simple stamping cards. Sentiments, adding some die cutting, and then that's assembly. That's it. All right, and so that's the stamp set. The embossing folder. This is included in the bundle. There is so much you can do with this. So let's start with me sharing all of these different things. Okay, so first off, we have got this one. This is just a simple base emboss. That's it. Then I went ahead and cut the center out with one of the die cuts. So here now I have a center piece. Then I went ahead and cut out. Let's see here. Let me show it you. I cut this out. So now I have a layer here. This is not embossed. Then I went ahead and dropped it into my embossing folder, you know, like you do. Ran it through my stamp cut emboss machine. And look at what I have there. Okay. And then next, there's a separate die cut that will make it a little bit more detailed. Now, if you cut out that detailed one, and you don't want to do all the work of layering because it'll layer on top, all, like all these layer together. If you don't want to layer it on top of that because, you know, that's one more run through the die cutting machine, you can take just your regular 
um, die cut, with, not embossed, the back layer. Let me see, I gotta layer this right. And bada boom, bada bing, look at that. And then you have a nice back layer. So that's an option as well. And then of course there's all these other elements that are within that bundle. Okay, so that is the Mary's Moments bundle. Absolutely stunning. And that's what we're working with today. The inks that I used for this class today, very simple, um, only four ink pads. Now you could use other green tones or you know different reds if you did not have these. Evening Evergreen we have got, I used Old Olive, also used Real Red and Cherry Cobbler. So these are just the four ink pads I used. You can see mine have seen a little love. I maybe should have ordered some last week on that stamp sale. Okay, and then what is included in the card kit? So this is the, the class that I'm sharing with you today. This is for our November card club. Card club is a monthly class. It includes 15 to $20 in product. So um, if you've never done card club and you've seen it posted and you're just kind of wondering what it's all about, I'm giving you a little glimpse today. Now the 15 to $20 in product can really vary. Um, it's different from month to month. This month, since I was focusing on a bundle that didn't have um, designer series paper included in it. The free product is some red rhinestones, and I don't have a brand new one sitting here to share with you. And they also got a full wink of Stella glitter pen. And then we do six to 10 cards. So depending on the, you know, how intricate they are, how many layers there are, we do six to 10. This month, because there was lots of layering, there are six cards. So two of each, three designs. Now, after um, you do card club six months in a row, you get a $25 product gift. So I have got a variety of these little packets to choose from for those that attend in person. And then those that get it by mail, I will just send you one of these. It always includes a, not always, but you know, typically $25 in product right now for the current kits that people are getting, they're getting a stamp set, uh, some embellishments and a ribbon. So I've got a variety of those going out to people that have attended for six months in a row. Prize Patrol, that's sitting here. Let's go over that real quick. This month's or this week's Prize Patrol is getting the Prince and Princesses Hostess stamp set. Last week's winner was Sharon Merritt. So thank you, Sharon, for participating in our weekly Facebook Lives. Um, I believe she was a winner through her comments on YouTube. So thank you so much, Sharon. All right, so let's set this aside and let's get started. I believe I'm gonna need a scratch piece of paper here. Now I have got two in each one of these. I'm just going to make one. All right, so we're starting with our real red. I'm gonna set the card in view so that you can have a nice look at it. Feel free though, um, you know, if you did not take card club and now you're thinking, gosh, I should have, you can message me. You might be able to get a card club kit out of me if you message within the next few days. I would be happy to do up a few more. I don't have any done up, so I would need a, just a little bit of time to order in the additional rhinestones for you and wink of Stella, but I would be happy to do that. So there's not an online registration currently for this one that I'm showing you, um, but if you want to send me a private message, I could maybe hook you up there. All right, so real red, I have got that. Let's see. Um, we're going five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and one fourth. And then I've got some old olive. I'm gonna have to make, I should have separated these out before I started. Very vanilla. I use this, I think it's called the seasonal Christmas dyes. Here, I might be wrong, but it seasonal labels maybe. Dyes for my sentiment. It just fit so very perfectly here. So I've got a real red one and a very vanilla. See, I got a strip of old olive. And then this designer series paper, just a tiny little sliver. It is a painted Christmas designer series paper. And I believe that's all I need for this first card that I'm gonna create for you. I'm gonna grab a scratch piece of paper. You know what I still have? Man, everyone, this is a mat I used at card class yesterday. Everyone must be afraid to dirty it. It was my leftover from on stage our virtual on stage, but I'm gonna fold it in half because I'm gonna be stamping with photopolymer. So what I do wanna have is my stamp and pierce mat. And I will go ahead and set this down. And let's get started. So first what I'm gonna do, I wanna make this border here. I want to use all of the greenery stamping. And that is, let's see, let's grab a couple of them. I just grabbed a couple of them. I have two different greeneries that I'm using. 
And that is where I want to have two different shades of green for the inking. Now, so if you don't have Evening Evergreen and Old Olive, maybe you have Pear Pizzazz. Hey, maybe somebody has like a really old color. There's also Mossy Meadow. That's a current color. But what are some older greens? I was, I haven't been in Stampin' Up for too long. Oh, you know what I always hear everyone talk about? Is it always, always artichoke, I think? Was that a green color? So I don't know, drop in the comments what your favorite Stampin' Up green color of all time is, whether it be a current one or maybe even a retired one that you are holding near and dear to your heart. Say, by the way, who watched that um, Lovely as a Tree tribute video? How about that? That was so much fun to do. Oh my gosh, we had a good time with that. And so it's okay to have your favorites. If you have a favorite ink color, just make sure you get the refill when they're retiring, which we don't have to worry about that for a while. But um, if you have a refill, I mean, you're like golden for like the rest of your life because those last like forever. Okay, so I've got old olive here. Do you see this? I'm just kind of sporadically going up and down just so I end up with a border. Like I might want to go a little bit taller. Now the label's going to go right here. So that's going to cover it just a little bit. All right, so I do see my video is showing up for the live on Facebook, so I haven't been able to catch any of the comments yet, but I'm gonna try here momentarily. All right, and let's do one more down here, and I can always go back and add more in before I do my adhesive, but I will close this one and grab the next one. And so now I'm gonna do the Evening Evergreen with more the, I guess the evergreen looking branch. And I'm just gonna go in between all of these. See that? I have seen some people make their own designer series paper. Oh my goodness, magnificent. And this is kind of doing that. I'm not gonna do the whole sheet though. All right, and so let me see. So this month, Card Club, you know, the one I'm showing you right now, does have lots of layers. Next month, we are going to, we're not doing Christmas next month, not at all. Next month by December, it's time to like move on. I put that one upside down. Do you think anyone will notice? Well, now you will, because I just told you. But um, uh, what is it called? Wonders of Friendship is our card kit for next month, I believe. Um, now, again, those are made in a way that if you do not have the stamp set that I'm using, of course, you can always add it on. But if you do not have it, you're still gonna have success with your stamping. As long as you have a sentiment stamp set, you're going to be just fine. I always create them in a way that everyone's going to have success. Simple, successful stamping is what we're all about here. So like this one, for example, as long as you had some branches or some greenery, you'd be just fine in creating this. A Christmas sentiment, you're good to go. Let's go ahead and stamp this in real red. We're going to do our sentiment. And I will get that ink out. Looks like, oh, I'm not quite inky yet. I think it's going to be by the end here. All right, nice straight up, straight down. Again, photopolymer, so you do wanna use some kind of cushy mat. I prefer our Stampin' Pierce mat. I think it's on back order right now, but you know, it is what it is, or not available to order. Speaking of that, just announced this week, Stampin' Up! beginning December 1st, will only, which this makes total sense, will only be doing things or selling things that they have in stock. So currently we can do back orders up to a certain number and then it goes unavailable and it gets really confusing. And with all the shipping issues, you know, everywhere in the world, um, they've decided just to not accept back orders anymore. And so when it's available, it's available. If it goes out of stock, it'll just show out of stock. And then when it comes back in, you can order it again, just like most stores. So just be aware of that beginning December 1st, if you order online and you're, you know, kind of wondering about that. All right, and move that out of the way. I am kind of talking fast, moving fast today because we have got three cards to share. Now, these are the exact same size, so you're probably like, well, what is she going to do there? Remember, if you've watched before. Remember, if you haven't watched before, you don't remember. But if you have, I like to do this little trick a lot, cut it in half. I have now doing double duty on my die cuts because now I have a layer. So I like to put my adhesive on the top layer, put it into place here like so, and like so and beautiful, like you wouldn't even know that that was the same exact die cut. Now we need to grab 
this little strip. This is just a one inch old olive, one inch strip of old olive. It is, let's just measure that up. Okay, so it is a one by four and three fourths here. So then we've just got a three fourths of an inch by four and three fourths. So, you know, very simple, kind of using the scraps up left over from other projects. So there's no waste um, when stamping here. Put a little adhesive there. Now you might be hearing some kids and dogs in the background. Our kids are home from school today on little Thanksgiving break. Actually, only one is home right now. The other one, she is at dance practice um, for a dance school dance team type thing. All right, so let's go ahead and adhere these together. Those that are getting the class, you are going to get the full measurements this evening. So if you're watching on Wednesday, um, the 24th of November, these will be sent to you at 8 p.m. tonight, Central Time. Um, if you're watching the replay and you're wondering where they are, go check your inbox. Everyone else, if you would like to get these directions, I'm going to share... They're just very basic measurements for the cards today. I will share those with all of you um, next Tuesday in my tutorial Tuesday. I'll share these on like way on the bottom of the email. You'll have to scroll down to the bottom to get them, but you'll be able to click them. And then if you want to print them off, it'll give you the basic measurements for this. So make sure you're on that VIP list. That's where you'll find upcoming events. I share a new tutorial every Tuesday. And then from time to time, I'll share our Wednesday video and any directions or um, insight if I have any. Some days I do, some days I don't. So make sure you're on that VIP list. I'd love to have you there. Okay, basic adhe adhering we have there. And then last but not least, let's get some dimensionals. Pop this up a little bit. We'll add some of those red rhinestones that are in the Card Clubbers kits. And that's gonna finish our first card. Now, one more thing. There's always one more thing you can do. That's what I used to do when I scrapbooked a lot. I need to get back into that, let me tell you. Um, is, I'd say, you know, like when, sometimes I liked really simple, but sometimes people would say, how do you know, like when, like how do you know when your page is done? So, oh, you just keep adding stuff till it starts looking a little gaudy and then you're done. Like stop right before it's at that final point of being gaudy. How about that for some advice for your Wednesday? Let's add a few of these red rhinestones. Two on the bottom right. And let's go with three right on the top there. Beautiful. Little Wink of Stella here. So see, Wink of Stella came in the kits. You're going to need that. Just glitter everything up as much as you would like. I'm just kind of touching on everything. I mean, you could even do this paper. Let's make that a little... I mean, you can scribble on there, you could actually color, but uh, you could never go wrong with Wink of Stella. Okay, there we go. Finishes our first card. I'm so excited, I'm gonna have Christmas cards. Last year I ran out and I hate to admit that I don't think I even got them all sent. Let's move on to this next card. This one is gonna go together so fast, you're gonna be shocked. So if you are working along with me, it's gonna go together so fast, so long as I can find the card. And the stamp. Okay, so fast. You're just gonna be shocked at the beauty of this card and how fast it goes together. I'm just making sure I got everything here. All right, let's go here. Let's separate our parts out. So look at this, so pretty. It just is making me happy. I hope it's making you as happy as it is me. So who out there is working on their Christmas cards? I mean, if you haven't, and now you may say, gosh, maybe you sent a photo card. Heck, you could you could pop a photo in here. Like cut that out. Oh my gosh, I just came up with that idea. I'm going to, I could put my kids' picture like right in the center of there. You know, cut that. Oh gosh, the good idea, guys. I mean, me, I you weren't telling me that, but I'm gonna give you guys credit. All right, as I talked it through, it came to me. That is a perfect idea. If you do a photo card, cut that center out. Cut that out, put your picture right in there, put a Merry Christmas, sign it from the center from the Nelsons, and you got a great Christmas card. Okay, so if you haven't done your Christmas cards yet, they're done. Just purchase the Merriest Moments bundle, cut out the center of that, and you have got a beautiful Christmas card. All right, anyways, now let's now that I got sidetracked, let's get back on track here. We have now got Cherry Cobbler. 
I've got a layer of basic white that I have embossed. Now, you could use any textured embossing folder, but embossed for the card club kitters. I have got the time-worn textures, I think is what it's called, um, is what I used. It's in our uh, mini catalog. <gasps> oh, my friends. You know what? We have got that join offer going on right now. And you know what I meant to show you at the beginning? Who wants to see? I've got a little sneaky peek. Um, okay, look at this. Check this out, everybody. I have got the new catalog. And you know what I'm doing as soon as I'm done with this video? I am going to be doing an unboxing with my Cafe Crafter Demonstrator Group. So all of those that have taken advantage of that Happy Shopper Starter Kit special and are in my Cafe Crafter private Facebook group, now, I'm not gonna show them the inside pages of this, but I'm gonna show them the things that I got in my product purchase premiere. And then they get to see the celebration. And guess what? They get to start ordering out of this next week. So if you wanna order early before this is available to everybody else, think about taking advantage of that Happy Shopper kit um, right now. $75 gets you 125 in product, free paper pumpkin, some other fun stuff, uh, but anyways. Not to get sidetracked, but I just did. Okay, I don't have that cut right. Let me see here. I'm gonna see if the other one is cut right. I mean, it's never wrong, but it seems a little off for me today. Let's bring in the other one. They're both, maybe this is too long. I gotta check. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go with it how it is. It's not like the end of the world, it is. So I maybe have this just a little quarter inch off on my sample here, but that's okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it. No one's even gonna know. All right, and so next I have got a, except for you guys, I just told you, a cherry cobbler in all of those different layers. Now I embossed both of these. So you can see why um, when I was talking about that, I had all of these layers um, that I did. Okay, I gotta bring this back out. Regroup, bring it back in, Tammy, bring it back in. Do you want a silicone mat? Since I got a little intricate pieces here, um, I'm gonna use my silicone mat for doing my adhesive here. And I do wanna see you all. I wanna see on the live. So on the live, I wanna see the comments. So give me one second. Well, here, look at something pretty while I find the live. Gosh, I'm really having a good time entertaining myself in my room today by myself. Oh my, there you are. Look at something pretty. Now you get the, I get the volume. I'm not getting any comments though. Gosh, I'm really having a good time. <laughs> this is so funny. So it's like a delayed. Okay, I got the volume off. It's not letting me find your comments though. What a bummer. Well, I hope that they're there. Now it just shut down altogether. Oh my. So like, I really can't see any comments. But I'm just going to pretend, I guess, that you're there. My internet just crashed on my computer. Goodness. Okay, well, who's got time for that? I don't have time for that. You don't have time for that. I got to go get my child in a little bit. So we're just going to pretend you're there. I, I'm sure you are. Okay, let's get back to adhering. That frustrates me. Never mind. I got to find you. Feel like I'm out shopping and I lost lost my friends or something. Hey, who's going out shopping? Does anybody do Black Friday shopping? Um, I do not. I never have. Um, I intended so when I worked at the cafe, I worked, you know, every Black Friday, so it just wasn't an option. And now, um, you know, I really haven't decided if I'm going to ever do that. I, my mom and I thought that we would last year after you know, we weren't at the cafe anymore. But um, then it, you know, COVID last year and still even this year, it's not a very good situation around here. Oh my goodness, I just found you all. Wonderful, okay. So um, now I see you, you're here. Thank you everyone for telling me you're here. Okay, it finally came up. There's just this silly stuff going on. Anyway, so we thought maybe we would go just for the experience, but now you know it, the numbers are not good here for COVID and you know, crowds are not exactly my favorite thing, so maybe not a good idea to go Black Friday shopping. I could probably do a little online. Now, I have gone like way late in the day, but never for like the main event, you know, super early or super late at night on Thanksgiving. We do have lots of plans to go visiting 
And so we, I, I had a little chuckle about this yesterday. I had card class going on here and my mother-in-law message, we're doing just a very casual gathering at their place, just kind of a swing by whenever you can. And last week it was very casual, no plan for menu or anything like that. And now yesterday, my mother-in-law, let's pop this up, messaged all of us, you know, or sent a group text or something and said, um, what everyone is bringing. Now she knows that I, I think she knows this. She knows that I don't really like to cook anymore. Like I left the restaurant and, and I really don't like to cook. So they go easy on me, you know, when they have me bring stuff. So she said, she says what everyone is bringing again, very casual. It's not like the full meal. We're all um, doing that either at our own houses or with our in-laws. And so she just said, you know, so-and-so is bringing this and that. And she said, and Tammy, bring wine or something. So I love it. She just leaves it so open for me, wine or something, because she knows I don't like to cook. So isn't that wonderful of her? So I did get some wine. I'm going to figure out my something later today. Maybe, I'll, maybe I will like throw together some appetizer or something. Again, very casual. So who out there is cooking today? So if you're watching live, you'd be cooking today. If you're watching the replay, you probably already did it. But either way, now on this, I haven't really figured out an upside down. I think either, any, either, all, any of the directions would work wonderfully. Okay, so we've got that ready to go. Do you see how easy this is? And then next, let's bring in our stamp pierce mat again. Now, of course, you could take all of these elements, the other stamped greeneries and things in there, and you could you could add a lot more to this. But again, I'm liking to keep it fairly simple. Simple, successful stamping is what I want to do. I don't want to add too much, but just a little extra. So these cards are just a little extra for what we're used to. Um, and let's get a different sentiment. Just a nice straight up, straight down, kind of going around my ink pad a little bit there. Cherry cobbler is what I have here. And again, straight up, straight down on a foam mat or kind of a cushy surface of some kind. And let's pull that off of there. Beautiful, once again. And now we are going to bring in some of these poinsettias I have pre-cut after I put this on. A lot of finagling around here today. I do need to snip some of these in half. No waste on your Stampin' Dimensionals. So next, we will have our final card, which actually I did move along these fairly quickly. It should just be, yeah, I don't know, five, 10 more minutes here and we should be done. So um, if you are creating your card club kit as you go here, you know, you're making two, so you would maybe need to pause and start over. And of course, your kits went in the mail today, this morning, when I took my daughter to dance. So you don't have your kit if you're watching live, but you can rewatch this if you want, or there is just a printable PDF for you too. So um, look at that, that's pretty as it is, but I did wanna add a little bit more to it. And so I have done, I mean, I went a little wild. I'm gonna use glue dots. And put these together. So I'm gonna layer these. There are three different sizes. I just randomly put them together in the card kits. Um, I didn't worry about the sizes because you're getting 12 of them. I went a little crazy with these flowers, but they were too pretty to not do this. One was good, two was better. Oh, what, what would three be? Okay, so I'm gonna put that just in place there, just very randomly. And let's go with the next one. Again, I'm using my take a pick tool here to put them in place. Great little tool to have, great gift. So um, if you or someone you know is making a wish list, this is a nice little stocking stuffer or gift for a friend or family member that likes to craft. Um, I do do gift certificates, so you can contact me if that's something you'd like or pass my name on to your loved ones as you're making your wish list this um, weekend maybe. And let's turn this upside down here. And one more, and then we're gonna add a whole mess of rhinestones. Like more than, like again, last week in the live, we talked a lot about five star friends. Like those friends that you will add as many rhinestones as you have to a card. That's kind of what this is gonna be all about. Again, it was like 
All right, a couple rhinestones in the middle of each one of these is good, but all over the card is even better. So let's take our red rhinestones, our take a pick tool, easiest, fastest way to get your gems, especially these smaller ones, onto your cards. Now let's make like the little cluster of like holly is what I think it would be called. And we'll put three here to see how many are we doing there. So we got three, we're on six, seven, we'll be at nine. So 12 minimum, minimum 12 rhinestones per card. Okay, friends, if you got them, use them. 12 red rhinestones per card is stunning. Now we've got that wink of Stella pen. And so now you just want to go over all of the basic white. And then you have like instant shimmer paper. So you could cut this out with shimmer paper. Or you could make your own by adding Wink of Stella. I could have done this before, but I didn't. So I'm doing it now. Either or works. I usually do it after, but then I can decide if I want, want to keep going and add more. I don't know how well that shows up, but it sure does in person add a really polished finishing touch to that. All right, last but not least, let's get going on that little shaker card. You can make it a shaker or not a shaker. Either way, it's going to be very pretty. And I need to find it first. Okay, I threw that new mini January to June catalog right on top of that. So now us demonstrators, happy shoppers, my cafe crafters, we're kind of in this weird position right now. Um, so if you're in it, if you're watching and you're a demonstrator, tell me if you're in this position too, if you fall into this category. So we still have all these beautiful Christmas projects we prepared for you and our, you know, other mini catalog that all this fun stuff is out of like, but now we've got this box of goodness sitting in our craft rooms or our office, wherever you hold your stuff that we are digging or like dying to dig into. But yeah, we still have all this to work with. It's And then we have all this stuff to do, right? I mean, we have obligations. We can't just craft all day long. And so it's really a conflicting time in our lives. So feel for us, everyone, okay? We're having a really hard time with what we should do. Should we work with the new? Keep going with this stuff. Should we clean the house? Should we do our Christmas shopping? Or should we just craft all day long? All right, and so look at this beautiful paper. This is from the Whimsy and Wonder Specialty Designer Series paper. There are some fabulous, fabulous patterns in here. And of course I could not, and this is also from there. So that's like a, so there's just great patterns. This is a one of the foiled ones with silver foil. Okay, so here's where I did cut out that frame. And then I have a layer here that I did not emboss. And there we go. We've got all of the pieces that we need, I think, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see as we go. And I'm gonna get out um, a window sheet here. I did have one, but I'm not finding it right here. So bear with me. So if you were here in person, you're like, yep, this is totally her. She's missing something, that is no surprise. But window sheets are tricky because you can't see them. All right, and all I did, I keep, the window sheets do come in a 12 by 12. When I have scraps, I just keep them in a little container. And so I may have to trim this down just a little bit because we just need a nice little um, sliver of it. And so I am, I'm gonna just trim this to fit. All right, got it trimmed down a little bit because it is a very, tight squeeze there. Now, if we see it a little above over here, it's going to be just fine because it's clear. You don't see it. Um, and so what I'm going to do to adhere this one, I did this a little different. Typically, I prefer tear tape for um, doing my window sheet, but because I have such a small area to work with, um, because it is pretty thin, I'm going to just use some glue dots. Now, you, if, you're, if shakers just scare the heck out of you, don't worry. You don't have to make it a shaker. Um, you can just adhere this like so, and you're still gonna have just as lovely as a card. But if you wanna step it up, maybe if you haven't done a shaker before and you wanna take a chance at that, now's a great time to do it. 
All right, so I'm just gonna put a bunch of glue dots around here just to secure my window sheet in place. I always start with my window on a shaker card first. I always put that clear part over because let me tell you, when I started making these, I didn't do it a couple times and I had sequins and glitter and you know all the shaking things all over. And so you really only do that once, maybe twice, on purpose anyways. Okay, and then let's go ahead and put our acetate window sheet right over the top. And that's gonna secure that. Now I am going to, I'm gonna bring in my foam adhesive strips. I do have some scraps. That, so this is how they come. I believe there's two in a package. I mean, this will last a long, long time for you. But I usually cut mine apart because I don't need them that long. And so I have got some smaller pieces here. I'm gonna pull off a strip and I'm gonna trim it as we go. But we do have a rather petite area, more so than usual when you do a shaker. And I will go ahead and put this here. Now, if you liked that Christmas card idea, you could just put your Christmas picture right in there too, rather than the designer series paper. You could make a shaker card picture Christmas card. Now, wouldn't that be cool? Um, I might have to do that. I'm gonna have to carve out some time this weekend. Do I have time this weekend? I think I actually do have time this weekend. Can you believe that? I am so excited. So last weekend I was gone. The last two weekends I've been gone. I was at on stage retreat. And then last weekend, I was up at a hockey tournament, which was super fun, by the way. Um, but it was, you know, not home. And so we're home this weekend. And even a bonus, my husband is off work. So that's super awesome. I'm excited about it. And let me see. But then next weekend, gone again. So next weekend, I will be back at another hockey tournament. Okay, let's go ahead and adhere that. Gosh, this is looking good, everybody. And one more of these. And I was, I was not even thinking it was Thanksgiving. I do have a free with a purchase card class coming up too. So if you've been waiting for one of those, um, I'm hoping to show that next week. But we'll see how the timing goes. I was thinking that I had time to do another live this week tomorrow, but we won't be home obviously. And you probably won't all be available because it is Thanksgiving here tomorrow. Okay, and so next what we need is... We need something to shake in there, right? And so I'm gonna use my Subtle Shimmer Sequins. These are in the um, All Occasions catalog. So really great to use just as like a little rhinestone or gem on your card, or even more fabulous to use as a shaker. It's just like some glimmery snow in there, like it's gonna be snowing. It's better to see it in a card than in person. You're like me, I will love to have a little snow or would love to have a little snow for Christmas. Or I'd like to have snow if it would just stay like 28 to 35 degrees. How about that? If wishful thinking, if all winter we could have just a little bit of snow, like not a little bit, like enough to go snowshoeing and cross country skiing, downhill skiing, maybe snowmobiling. And then the rest of it, but like warm enough to do it so that you don't have to like go inside every two minutes. Wouldn't that be just perfect? Okay, and last but not least, see, I really gently took those um, adhesive strips off or the, you know, the part that was keeping it from the two-sided part. You get what I'm saying? All right, and let's place that over the top, making sure we don't have any holes left on there. Now I am because it's not, because you know, that's a little cushy now. It's not gonna be easy or would not be easy to use my tape runner. So I will use an adhesive strip at this point. I do like to have a variety of adhesives available. Also a great little Christmas gift if you would like to put together a little adhesive package for somebody. So if you're trying to think of what to get the crafter in your life, lots of options, lots of little, um, you know, little doodads that they would love to have if you're not sure what they have for stamps and things like that. Okay, so where are we going here? Let's find my layers here, that's not it. Let me see, I think I gotta go this way. I think I did it kind of upside down, but that's okay, you're not gonna even notice. Okay, here we go. And I am gonna put a few dimensionals so that it'll, but not dimensionals, I don't want them. Dimensionals are just a little bit shorter than what these adhesive strips are. So I'm gonna put a few little adhesive strips I'll cut them apart to make them, you know, smaller. 
So these are just a little bit taller than our dimensionals. And that is that works great to make give you a little more leverage on um, like the shake part. Because if you have a little thicker something or other that you're putting in there as your shaker, um, if you just use regular dimensionals, first you'd have to put a lot of them on there to make um, you know your frame. Because if you're wondering, like, why don't you just use dimensionals? You'd have to use a lot to make the frame. But if you put something thicker on the inside to shake, it, it doesn't give it enough leverage or like room to shake. So that's what's perfect about the adhesive strips is that it does give it plenty of room, plenty of room to move. And we've got lots of little things to take off here and I will use kind of the pointy needle type end. I might take a pick to get under my tear tape strips and tear those off. We have just a little tiny sentiment and ribbon to add to the front before it finishes this off for the day. I'll bring in all the cards at the last end, or the last end. Now I'm beginning to not be able to talk, um, but at the end to share with you in one view. And again, these will be, if you're watching the live, uh, pictures in this video will be emailed to those that took the card club class. For November, if you did not, make sure you're on that VIP list. And um, I'm gonna email this out as a bonus for my customers that are on that list um, next Tuesday. So in the tutorial Tuesday, there'll be the regular you know, tutorial and then I will add this in as well. So kind of a bonus, you'll get two. And there'll be a printable thing where you'll be able to print out photos of these um, cards in very basic measurements. And let's go ahead and adhere that here. And when you do subscribe, so if you notice, I've got some really small measurements here. Can you, I did use, let me see here. So we have got, so when you subscribe to my VIP list, you do get this template sent to you that kind of goes over in larger format and tells you all these smaller measurements, um, what they are. So I have a hard time with these sometimes, so I put this together. And so what I have here is a little bit different. Normally I would go like five and a fourth, but I didn't. I went five and one eighth, and then I have got four and one eighth too. So rather than doing the standard, because I wanted this to be able to stick out a little bit more and that to be larger. Anyways, if that makes any sense to you. But just so you know, you do get a free um, printable when you subscribe to that um, email list that I like to call the VIP list because those that are on that list are very important people to me. All right, and let's go ahead here. There was another big announcement in Card Club today, and this will go to all my, this pertains to all my local people. So if you are far away and you take kids to go, you watch the videos, you participate online with me, um, this does not affect you, except for I might be able to now offer more classes online and um, share with you more ideas. Um, but the classes here, the one that we do card club, we're eliminating sadly birthday club and just condensing it down into one card club class a month. So one club, like one class like this per month instead of two, cause we were doing two, we were doing card club and birthday club. Now we're just going to have one and it is moving from my stamp studio to an outside location. We will now be meeting in the comfort Inn. it's a mile from my house meeting room they have it's a brand new facility they've got a beautiful meeting space that they are going to allow us to use and i just absolutely cannot wait so our traditional card class will be there it's kind of like um the card class that i had pre-pandemic so i used to hold a card class at an event center well i held it at our cafe in eagle lake for years and what well, years? I say it as if I've been doing this for 25 years, but I held it there for four years, three and a half years, I would say. And then I moved it to an event center for just a few short months until the pandemic. And we haven't went back, but I am ready to get back to it and share with all of you. So, um, you know, right now, unfortunately, my studio, it has steps, the new place, no steps. We don't have to worry about the ice in the winter. And so we're going to try that out for a few months, see how it goes. So that is a big announcement for all of my locals in the main Cato area. There's a hotel there too. So if you want to travel here, reasonable rates, let me tell you. He told me, and I don't know if this is regular, he told me $70 a night if I brought people in. Can you believe that? $70. So come down to main Cato. All right. So I've got the season's greeting. Notice how I was real gentle as I did my inking there. 
I'm doing it in Versamark because I am gonna do some heat embossing. Super gentle, because I don't wanna get rings around the edges here. Straight up, straight down, letting that soak in really nice. And I'll just tap it down out of the way. And we need some embossing powder. I'm just looking around for my embossing heat tool. I do have it right behind me plugged in. And I have got my white embossing powder. I'm just gonna let it rest in there and all I'm gonna do is pour that all over the top. Now all I have to do is tap the excess out of the way and look at that, how magical is that? I'll blow on that just a little bit, get the excess off. Now if there's anything remaining that I don't want there, I usually keep a little paintbrush nearby. Look, just one little spot there. It's not gonna matter, I'm gonna cut that off, so that doesn't matter. But I have just a little bit over here. We're good to go. Now all we have to do to, is heat that to set it. So if you haven't heat embossed yet, that's all it is. Versa mark, a little powder, and then you have to heat it. So nothing scary about it after you've done it a few times. And so here we go, look at that, it's getting going now. You can go from behind or top, no wrong way to do it, as long as we all end with the same end game here. All right, and it's just so magical. The first time I heat embossed was probably three years ago, maybe. Maybe four now, I bet it was four. It was the first year I was in, like full year I was in Stampin' Up. And I did this tiny little deer in gold gold or copper i think it was gold it was the tiniest little deer i thought it was probably the best day of my life at the time i mean aside from like the best crafting day of my life which probably could be because before that i didn't heat emboss excuse me how to get a little bit of coffee um so that really opened up a whole new world of opportunity once i started heat embossing okay so i'm just going to snip this apart Nothing too formal about it because I wanted to have two layers. I'm making it the size I want it to be because the place that I was putting the greeting didn't work for such a long sentiment. Okay, that's all there is to that. And now we've got some really pretty ribbons to use. I have got this um, Blushing Bride and I wish I had the names of these. I do, I, I think I do. So we've got the Blushing Bride, it's called Frayed. Is it gross grain, gross grain? I don't know, somebody tell me how to say that. Although, I don't know, say it how you want. This. So let's just say Blushing Bride ribbon. And then we've got the white glittered ribbon. So very beautiful ribbons. Definitely gonna want some um, glue dots here. I don't even have the sample here, shame on me. So I'm going off memory on this one. I shared with you the sample at the beginning, who knows where it went. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put a glue dot to start there, because what I'm gonna wanna do is zigzag this. And then I'll put a glue dot on the bottom. Let's tear that little tail off. Glue dot on the bottom. Okay, and, and there is definitely a little bit of grace here. So if I decide I don't like how that's placed when I wanna go put my label on, it's okay. I can, I can probably, I can pull that up and move it a little, maneuver it around a little bit. To change it and then I'm gonna go back down this way okay and I'll put one more and that's gonna finish off that ribbon and then as if that's not enough we got to add a little bit more so I have got the um, the white glittered ribbon so let's just go ahead and fold that over just like so so see I'm using ribbon once again I can't even remember the last time I tied a bow but I think I have used ribbon almost every single week for the last couple of months Except for we made those really simple Eden Garden cards and I don't think I used ribbon that day. But for the most part, I use ribbon every week and I haven't tied like a real bow. So don't hesitate with um, the ribbon. If you like it and it speaks to you, get it. You don't have to tie a bow even if you, but you can, bows are beautiful. But you don't have to to be successful. And then I have got my beautiful tag here that I, from the frightfully cute Halloween tags. I just can't get away from this one. And I didn't look, there's a carryover list coming out soon. I haven't looked at that just yet. Typically Halloween doesn't carry over, but I could cross my fingers. But you know, if it doesn't, I always find a new favorite. So I'm gonna put a bunch of dimensionals on here. 
So it's gotta stick over that ribbon. And then we'll add our sentiment, little wink of Stella, and then we will be finished for the day. I do have many more videos to do today. I gotta get on the our very last official birthday club class. I'm gonna do that video this afternoon to share with all of those that took that class. I'm gonna do an unboxing with my cafe crafter group about 12.30 and Gosh, I don't know what else I'm doing today. Having some fun. I'm gonna, maybe I'll make a card with that new stuff and then figure out my, or something to bring to Thanksgiving tomorrow. I love that. Should be pretty easy. I'm gonna have to see what I have here though because I'll be darned if I'm gonna go to a grocery store today. That would be just, that would make no sense at all. I guess unless I went tonight. I bet it wouldn't be busy later tonight. And one more dimensional right here. Let's see, we need seasons first, and this is gonna say seasons greetings. Now with all those other elements in that stamp set with the greenery and stuff, there's definitely opportunity for you to decorate the insides of your cards, your envelopes, and the whole bit. For the sake of time, I'm gonna just leave that creativity to all of you, and I'm gonna end it with these. But let's add a little wink of Stella to our basic white. Bring in all of the cards to share. Look at how cool that looks. Gosh, I like that. The Blushing Bride ribbon is just stunning. Now some of these um, materials, products, that I'm using are probably on back order. But you can improvise with other things. I'm sure if you've been around a while, you have a Blushing Bride ribbon. You could improvise with something else. Um, or you could wait till it comes back available. All right, so maybe you have your Christmas cards done for this year. Start thinking ahead to next year. Wouldn't this be a great card to work on? I mean, this five-star friend cards right here, friends. These are outstanding. I'm gonna peek at the comments here on the live video. So this is gonna conclude our video for showing off the birthday club class as well as just our Facebook Live for November 24th. So really a bonus Facebook today. I'm doing three cards, all using the, um, what is it? I don't even know the name of the whole bundle. Marius Wishes Bundle. Um, but just showing you a few different ways to use that, making it a shaker, kind of traditional, and then just using the stamps without the whole embossing folder and the huge die cuts there. So three different, um, just three different real, three different styles of cards that are all super stunning. So I hope that you enjoyed them all and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And gosh, I don't know. I think that's all there is to say. I've talked long enough today. So I will see you guys back here, if not before, live next week, believe it or not, December 1st. So I'm hoping to bring you a video before then, but if not, I will see you on December 1st at 11 a.m. Central. Have a great week and weekend, everybody. See you later.